Welcome to the YouTube channel Just Information. I hope you all are fine. Today we will learn Class 8 Maths Chapter Exponents and Power Part 7. This is our Part 7. And today in this part we will learn about the topic, new topic that is called radical. Radicals in this class. In this class, we, it is so simple, but in higher class, it will change. So, for understanding this, first, what is the rational numbers? Rational numbers are the fraction p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. And in the rational and radical, in these first two topics are there, that is radical and radical. If any example is there, that is root y and here q. It will be q root of y, q root of y in this, this root is called the radical sign. Also, this q root of y is called radical. After that, q is the index of the radical. q is the index of the radical. the radical radical if we'll see example it will be if the examples are that root a is equal to a 1 by 2. So, if anywhere the number is given like this, root a, a means any number, before that index of a radical is always positive. means this q at the place of q it is always po positive minus q or minus any number is uh, never exist never exists so root a will be written as 1 by 2 because first we know that value of root is always 1 by 2 <coughs> And it will be square root of a, called as square root of a. Of a. Second, if like this question is given, you will write it as a raised to 1 by 3. Because... At the place of 3, if there is any number, positive number, 
like this a single positive number without in p by q form you have to write it like a raised to 1 upon that number and this will be called as cube root of a third example 4 a uh, 4 root a so this will be written as a raised to 1 by 4 and it will be called as 4th root of a so for this the main formula is that if a is any radical and n is any index n is any index at the place of them any number can be written this will be always equal to a raised to 1 by n I hope you have understood this but note that to remove a radical of the nth root we raise the number to the power 1 by n we can now we will solve some questions first of all we will solve some examples after that we will solve some questions based on them so our first example is first is n root a raised to n in this this is equal to a LHS left hand side says that and root a raised to n so we know that any number root n is always equal to that number whole raised to 1 by n so whole raised to 1 by n and n will get cancelled due to multiplication so remaining will be a therefore LHS is equal to RHS the value of n root a raised to n is a is equal to a therefore this is equal now the second question that is n root AB is equal to and root A into dot means into and root B. Now we will solve this LHS. LHS and root AB. This can be written as AB whole raised to 1 by N. This means A raised to 1 by N into B raised to 1 by N. Now for bringing this in the form of RHS we can think that if a is to sorry and root a is equal to a and root a is equal to a raised to 1 by n so this will be like and root a into this will be and root b therefore this is equal to rhs that is and root a into and root b i hope you have understood this question too now the third example 
third, fourth, fifth, and many examples we learn them in part eight. And in part eight, we will solve more questions. Solve questions. I hope you have understood this video. For any queries and doubt, you can join the Telegram link given in the description of this video. I hope you have understood this. Thank you for watching.